Hey, you're listening to Marketing Out Loud, a daily podcast where I share advice, stories, and insights to help you build a thriving consulting or professional services practice. To subscribe to the show, head over to marketingoutloud.fm. A couple of days ago, I talked about the importance of finding a coach or a mentor of some sort who's been down the road that you want to go down and can help accelerate your progress. But one thing I didn't talk about in that episode that I want to just briefly touch on here is there's also a danger in that. Because what I see a lot of people doing is coach hopping or, or mentor hopping or guru hopping is they just kind of bounce from coach to coach to coach to guru to guru to guru to mentor to mentor to mentor. And they don't really invest a sufficient amount of time with each person to actually get results. And this happens all the time. Like I have calls with people who are interested in my coaching and they've worked with two or three of my competitors already. Um, and then next thing I know, you know, if, if they don't decide to, to work with me, I see them talking to another one of my competitors and look to a certain extent, that's okay. You have to, you have to talk to enough people and, and explore, uh, explore your options before you settle on a coach or a mentor. That, that makes sense. Cause you want to make sure that there's a fit and, and there's many layers to that, right? There's a, there's a fit in terms of the actual work and the value and this personality fit. I mean, there's a whole, you know, a whole, a whole bunch of ways to look at that. But once you decide to work with somebody, I mean, you really got to give it enough time and really go all in to making that relationship work because switching from coach to mentor to guru is very expensive, right? So there's like the switching costs are very, very high because it's a different context. It's probably a different way of doing things, uh, probably a different skill set required, probably a different approach, different framework, different relationship. And, you know, you could lose months just in making that switch. So what I'm trying to say here is when you get into a coaching or a mentorship relationship, definitely do your due diligence upfront and make sure that you're talking to the right person, you're working with the right person, you have confidence that this person will get you to where you want to go. And but once you've done that due diligence, and you have that confidence, go all in and don't look back. You know, don't spend a week, a couple of weeks, a month, even a couple of months, trying things. And then when you're not satisfied with the results giving up because it might just be that you're giving up too early. Because no matter what, I mean, any coach or mentor is not going to be able to just make things happen magically for you overnight, right? There's always work involved and there's always, you know, dips and ups and downs. So if at the first sign of trouble, you kind of throw your hands up in the air and you say, well, I guess this person can't deliver the goods, then you're not going to get very far because that's not how it works, right? You've got to put in the work. You've got to give it time. You've got to let the process work for you. So that's what I wanted to communicate today is you got to see it through. You got to stick with it, put in the time, trust the process, trust the mentor or the coach. And you know what? It's not like it's always going to work. Maybe sometimes it won't work, but I just want you to be very careful about giving up too early and, you know, throwing your hands up in the air too early and concluding that, you know what, this doesn't work when maybe you just haven't tried it for long enough or it hasn't worked yet. Hey, thanks for listening. Do me a favor. If you like what you hear, go on iTunes and leave us a rating and a review because it helps more people discover the show. Thanks so much.